Monroe County Airport officials are calling this the busiest weekend in their history. As WTIU's Gretchen Frazee reports, the traffic exceeded expectations. The Monroe County Airport does not have the final count of planes it served this weekend, but Airport Director Bruce Payton says at one point they had to shut down a runway and convert it to a parking lot for jets. Payton says he hopes many of the businessmen and women that came through will remember the Hoosier hospitality. It's, it's important that the airport, airport puts its uh, best foot forward. I mean, clearly these are the mega corporations in our world. and. They come in and the first thing they're going to see of Indiana and Monroe County is the airport. And it's the last thing they're going to see when they leave. Peyton says around $2 billion worth of aircraft was parked on the airport tarmac Sunday. He says business leaders and professional sports players chose to fly into Bloomington to avoid the traffic in Indianapolis. Those that flew into places like Bloomington, Columbus, Terre Haute, they were able to drive just a little bit longer distance but be off the ground in just minutes as opposed to hours wait uh, in the Indianapolis area. The airport was still accommodating several flights Monday, although most of the planes and visitors left late Sunday night. For WTIU News, I'm Gretchen Frazee.